G'day, Damo from CompNow here with a quick recap of this morning's JNUC keynote. JF's annual conference is the first for new CEO, John Strosel, and this year's theme is the power of AND. We've heard about. Jamf Pro 11, a new UI, improved automation and workflow support, and most importantly, full support for the new declarative device management approach to macOS software updates. Jamf School gets app installers for improved Mac functionality, generative AI experiments for support and documentation assistance, and security threat analysis. Stay with us as we go into some more detail on the announcements most relevant to CompNow's Apple and Jamf customers. Jeremy Butcher from Apple emphasized how great this year's WWDC was for Apple admins, with improvements to managed Apple IDs, software updates, platform SSO, and more. Apple's enterprise focus on the three key pillars of management, identity, and security are clearly what Jamf is basing their own priorities on. Our recent CompNow and Jamf webinar with myself and Francesco covers these WWDC updates in more detail. Great for organizations, even if you're not in education. We learned about Jamf Connect's built-in support for zero trust network access. Google Beyond Corp took the stage to outline further developments to their next level approach to modern security and identity. And Michael Covington from Jamf outlined Jamf's position that security should be purpose-built for a platform. That's why Jamf builds on what macOS already offers in terms of security monitoring and threat detection. One of the key ways that Jamf has invested a lot of time and resource into making devices more secure more easily is by joining the macOS Security Compliance Project and creating the Jamf Compliance Editor. Jamf Compliance Editor integrates directly into Jamf Pro to simplify generating security baselines and deploying controls to achieve them. Jamf's team have created a tool for us that makes one of modern organizations most important and sometimes most onerous requirements an absolute walk in the park. We also learned how mobile threats are continuing to complexify and how Jamf are enhancing their product in response, either with their own workflows or making great use of what Apple already provides like account-driven enrollment on BYOD. Nadia Syed from Microsoft gave us this morning's quotable quote, security is a team sport, as she shared great info on Jamf Protect integration into MS Sentinel to send relevant security info, and platform SSO for macOS, expanding what was already great SSO support from Microsoft's side even further. Moving on to education. Jamf Safe Internet, which already protects your Apple's Windows or Chromebook device anywhere it goes online has been enhanced with on-device content filtering, meaning your users and devices have even better coverage against attacks like phishing. The Jamf Teacher app for Jamf School and Jamf Pro has received some updates with UI enhancements for better visibility and management of restrictions. Jamf School is getting app installers. It's available today. One of the best newer features from Jamf Pro for Mac management and automating the installation and patching of apps is now coming to this education specific platform. This is yet another development for Jamf School that underlines its maturity as a management solution for education specific environments. It's not baby Jamf, it's edu specific Jamf. It wouldn't be a tech conference in 2023 without a mention of AI. The Jamf Collaboratory is the team that experiments with how AI can assist Jamf customers, and they've announced two very interesting projects. Documentation and workflow advice will be provided by an AI model trained on Jamf Nation forum posts and the many, many years worth of Jamf documentation. On the security side, the hypothesis engine for Jamf Protect gives you additional context and potential causes for security alerts. Kind of like a veteran InfoSec operator, you would ask for advice. One of the key themes underpinning all of today's content was the concept of employee choice. Multiple times, the topic was mentioned as the IT industry's new normal, and it was called out that current growth continuing will lead to Apple devices being the dominant endpoints in enterprise by the end of the decade. So many of the features we've learned about today, or enhancements to features we've known and loved already, make supporting an employee's chosen device and platform easier than ever. As one of the CompNow team that focuses heavily on the delivery of choice programs, it's fantastic to see Jamf make it even easier in so many ways. We hope you found something of interest in this morning's keynote, and we'll be watching the sessions keenly for new ideas and workflows to support our customers' use of Jamf and Apple products. Watch out for Australian Jamf, Stu McDonald and Aaron Zembaka, who both have sessions this year, 
and the Mac Admins podcast James Smith is presenting as well. Virtual passes for JNUC are still on sale if you want to get the earliest possible access to this year's sessions. If you're not able to attend virtually but still want some great Jamf content, see our recent webinar series. Each session is a great resource for the big picture around modern device management, identity and security, and today's announcements only enhance what our teams discuss. CompNow provides IT built for you. If you have questions about what we've covered here today, or anything to do with JNOC or Jamf, contact your CompNow account manager or email info at compnow.com.au. Cheers. Thank you.